Because you you're old to the American people, you're old to the President of the United States. There was little love lost between Donald Trump's Homeland Security Secretary, Kirsten Nielsen, and the House Democrats now controlling the committee that oversees her agency. Let me tell you, Madam Secretary, either you're lying to this committee or you don't know what's happening at the border. Nielsen defended Trump's national emergency declaration to build a border wall, citing a surge in unauthorized crossings. More than 76,000 people, mostly families from Central America, were apprehended at the southern border in February. That's the highest monthly figure in more than a decade. But these increases will overwhelm the system entirely. This is not a manufactured crisis. This is truly an emergency. Republican members backed the secretary's testimony, blaming the increased crossings on a broken immigration system they say Democrats have refused to fix. It's Congress that's failed to act to solve this problem. But the hearing was dominated by critical questioning from Democrats, many demanding an accounting of the president's zero-tolerance policy that resulted in the separation of thousands of children from their parents last year. When you saw those pictures of babies in cages, what did you do? What did you do to just scream bloody murder up the chain to the president? Does it differ from the cages you put your dogs in when you let them stay outside? Is it, a, is it different? It, it, yes. In what sense? Uh, it's larger. It has facilities. Uh, it provides room to sit, to stand, to lay down. So did my dog's cage. The family separation policy ended after public outcry, though advocates say it's still happening in a smaller number of cases. But thousands of children who travel to the U.S. alone, fleeing violence and poverty in their home countries, remain detained. Three have died in government custody since the beginning of the year. A number of Republicans have sided against the president's national emergency declaration as well, citing concerns that it exceeds the power of his office. Congress is expected to pass a measure to cancel that declaration, but Trump says he will veto. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Washington.